I'm supposed to capture the atmosphere and excitement of watching the game in a typical jam-packed English rugby club bar. Nigel, what are you doing here? Oh, charming. Lovely to see you too, then. Good eye. It's 30 posh blokes fighting, isn't it? Or have I missed something? When are you lot going to learn? It's no good inventing games if you can't bloody well play them. Come on, England! It's about what happens on the uh, morning of the World Cup final, the 2003 Rugby World Cup final, uh, uh, in a small club in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in England, where a group of idiots turn up to watch the game on the big screen and their lives are split apart by the uh, emotions that sort of are unleashed and uh, the, the schemes and the plots that are unleashed in the course of the game. It's basically a sort of a, a farce set in the one room. Uh, the group of people coming together, all with different agendas, all on the backdrop of this great final, and uh, all the sort of tricks and laughs that come in between. So all the lads are nuns today, then? That's right, yes. Yeah, Vikings for the quarters, schoolgirls for the semi, nuns for the final. It's a classic one, two, three. I'll take the weight off your wimple, I'll get you a beer. I'm starving, actually. What you got there, Nizo? Riesling. Oh, yuck. Brought to you direct from the Birdcage Falls of Sweden. All right. Aha. Got the milk. No, you're all right. I'm lactose intolerant. You're allergic to milk? No, I just don't see why I should tolerate it when there's beer. You don't have to know anything about the game to sit and enjoy this. Uh, it's, uh, it's fun. Um, you know, the cast are great. Uh, it's got a little bit of everything, um, you know, for everyone. Although, obviously, if you are a rugby fan, you know, it will resonate with, um, you know, with, with where we all were ten years ago. There's love interest storyline. There's um, a love-hate storyline, there's a father-son type storyline. It is a little bit rom-com, it's a little bit sports movie, it's, it's something for everybody. The thing I like most about the movie is that it has a heart, you know? Uh, you care about the people. It's not true of every movie you go and see, but this one definitely does. I came out with a big smile on my face. Anybody who watches it will do the same, I think. Try to England, Jason Robinson, left-hand corner, right by the flag! Yes! So what you're saying is that I'm kind of like your inspiration. Oh, sorry. But you know what? While we're having breakfast, Johnny Wilkinson's normally out there practicing his kicking. So uh, by the time he's finished, it's about lunchtime. So uh, that's why you got breakfast with me today. <laughs> so look, it's got sex, the supernatural, Johnny Wilkinson, and England winning the World Cup, maybe. Ah! Oh, God! Look, I'm right in the middle of threatening somebody. I'll call you back. The most important day of my whole life, and the telly's broken. Bloody hell, what a win.